Hey, hey, welcome to E-Friender Radio. I'm Shayla. I got Terrence with me, Dorvin and Jean. And we're just here to give y'all some information. So welcome to E-Friender Radio. Terrence. What's going on? Hey, how you doing? How everybody feeling? Everybody feeling okay, good? Feeling good out here today? Okay. You no? Know? Good, feeling great. <laughs> right, let's go, man. Let's give people this information, give people what they want. Okay. What everybody is asking hungry. about. Yeah, definitely. All right, so first we're just going to start off by just letting you guys know um, basically what e from the Radio is, um, what we're here to do. And we just want to share some very valuable information with you guys um, about real estate, business loans, business credit, but we'll get a little further into that a little later on. But um, yeah, so as I mentioned, I'm Shayla. I'm a commercial mortgage specialist and I work with eFunder. And um, eFunder is a fairly new company. We've been in business for about, I'll say under two years. And within those, within that time frame, um, we've closed over we're close to 10 million deals, and we are continuing to help as many people as we can. So we're just here to get this information out and, you know, see how we can be of service to you guys. So send it over to Terrence, <laughs> and he can tell you guys a little bit more about eFunder. Hey, thank you so much, Shayla. See, Shayla, this is this is my right hand. This is my right hand man or one man. Uh, yeah. You know, she's really the captain of the ship, so... Um, yeah, my name is Terrence Young, and um, you know I've been in real estate for a very long time. I started in this <laughs> industry in around 2004, and um, um, I, I, I just I just love it. Uh, I transitioned into different stages of real estate, from your buy, fix, and flip, your wholesaling, you know, now to the lending side of the business. Um, here at E Funder, I mean, we're here to try to educate people, and like Shayla said, I mean. We're a fairly new company, but I mean, we've closed over $10 million worth of loans so far. Um, we're here for the people. And if you have real estate <clears throat> questions and things like that, I mean, that's what we, we want to be able to answer that for you. You know what I mean? We want to be able to help you help yourself. Uh, Most definitely. And yeah, I want to put y'all on. Uh, Contact me for Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to do it at the end? Uh, well, no, no, no. If you want to, yeah, if you want to do it to us, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, well. Uh, you don't want to fight. Somebody wants to start eating. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> if you want to visit us, you can hit me up at um. You can go visit my website. It's www.efunder.pro. That's e f u n d e r dot pro. My email is t young t y u n g at efunder.pro. All right, so you heard from Terrence himself. You know, Terrence has been my mentor, and I'm proud to say he's also my uncle. And, um, you know, I've seen him, like you mentioned, you know, start basically from the ground up in real estate and work his way up. So when, when you talk about credibility in real estate, can't, don't get no better than, than my uncle over here. So definitely got to shout him out. And, and we're um, in his building. <laughs> yes, we're in his building. So we're in his building. He's definitely, you know, worked hard to get to where he's at. And um, I'm excited for all the success that eFunder has already had. And we're just looking forward to continuing to grow. So um, over here we got 300 Realty. Mm-hmm. And um, they are our clients, our very successful clients, um, clients of eFunder. And um, so I'm hearing that within what seven months, y'all already closed on what six doors? You got yeah, six doors, yeah. Six doors, seven months. Mm-hmm. Fill me yeah. in. Fill me in. Um, a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, a lot of consistency, like a lot of help from Terry. Right, right. A lot, a lot of help. Yeah, so a lot of long like, nights, a lot of arguments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got to get, get, get the, yeah, we gotta get the dark side of it. Like, y'all yeah. see the end result and think it's peaches and creams. You think, like, nah, it's like long conversations mm-hmm. with this guy. We call Terry at 9 o'clock. He, like, he, he still answered the phone. Like, it's a lot of, it's a lot, it's a lot that, that comes with this that you got to put into it. So people might hear those numbers and be like, oh, my, I could do it. It's, this ain't for everybody. This right, ain't right. for the weak. This ain't for the lazy. It ain't for the 
But at the same time, I think um, I think that uh, anyone can do it. You know, um, I think uh, with the right plan, um, anyone can do it. You know, I mean, we, we we were just two people who had landlords. We got we got landlords. You know what I mean? Um, and so it was like we we decided to get into this thing, and uh, you know, I would I would say uh, you know through you know divine intervention, you know we got blessed with Terry. You know, um, I remember when I remember the conversation when Darvin called me and said. Uh, you know, I got this meeting, you know, with this guy from eFunder, you know, I'm like, all right, you know, we, we set the meeting up and, you know, the rest is history, you know, um, mm -hmm. you know, since right, then well. we probably tried to give, you know, a thousand people mm -hmm. his number, you know, but uh, <laughs> Terry will tell you how many people called you, Terry. Right, right, right. <laughs> Not very few. Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> all right, well, I'm going to just stop y'all for a second because I definitely want you to get more into the the journey, you know, mm -hmm. tell us about those sure. hurdles, those challenges, you mm -hmm. know, share with the mm -hmm. people. But I um, definitely wanted to congratulate you, <coughs> know, first and foremost. Mm -hmm. and, um, of course, I haven't known you guys that long, but in a short, you know, the short amount of time, I've definitely seen the growth mm -hmm. you know, and the success. Mm -hmm. so, so why don't you just tell us, what is 300 Realty? Like, what made you guys want to jump into this real estate game? And um, like I said, what were some initial first challenges that you faced? Uh, you say what made us want to jump into the game? Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. just looking for um some financial freedom. Just looking for a place to invest. Like, just trying to figure out what's next. Like, um, I don't know like about Gene, but I know like one of my personal goals is to start working with somebody. Mm -hmm. So I just was looking at it just to just find a way to get yeah, you know I mean, just to find my way out of that situation. I mean, I, don't, like. uh, I, mean <clears throat> I remember the conversation we had, uh, you know, we, we've been friends for over 30 years, you know what I mean? Um, so we, we've known each other for, for over 30 years. Um, we've mm -hmm. been friends for over 20, 25 years. We're from the projects. Too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, from, yeah from definitely, definitely from Northview. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely from Northview, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but um, I would, one day we were just talking, we was like, we've known each other all this time, you know what I mean? Um, and we never tried to venture to make money together. You know, we all made money on separate ends, but we never tried to make money together. Um, so we sat down and tried to figure out what lane we wanted to try to jump into, and uh, it ended up coming down to real estate, you know? Okay, okay. so just tell us some some hurdles, like the first properties, what happened? Like, was it just smooth sailing, or, you, you know, <laughs> did you get a couple of bumps? And, you know what I mean? Just share some of the challenges that you guys face with us. You want to start? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you want, you want to start? I mean, yeah, we 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 going we going you know keep it as where where, as where raw. you want to start at? Like, you want to start before Linwood, or you want you want to go back to like Lawrenceville? You want to go that far back? Uh, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah, we can. Start yeah. Start from the first yeah. Oh, yeah. So um, we was puppies in the game. Um, a lot of money almost got lost um, to the point. When I first met Terry, I think one of our legit first discussions was him plugging me in with a lawyer to get out of this deal. Because mm -hmm. remember, I had I had five thousand dollars of my personal money tied into a deal that was all bad. Same now, way. now what I know now, the the deal was awful. Mm -hmm. Like so, um, like two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, awful. It was like, like, <laughs> like like I'm talking about first deal probably would have been our last deal. Mm -hmm. Like. Like, yeah, a quick, yeah. quick shout out to Catherine Wakefield. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> big, big, big shout out to Catherine. Like, yeah. I, like to the point, I talk to her. I talk to her quite often, and um, and I, I give her a referral to everybody because I'm talking about like when I when she start knocking on that door, I got my money back ASAP. Like, <laughs> so uh, big shout out to Catherine Wakefield. Um, yeah, the deal was awful. It was a messy guy. I ain't gonna say no names. We don't need to get into that. Um, it's very messy. Um, oh man, the, like now looking at it, the comps, the scope of work, and if y'all out there, y'all in real estate, comps is comparables of the other houses in the market. Um, scope of work is basically all the stuff you want to do to the house. All of it was off, like all of it. Like it, it was all dreams and wishes, like to the point like everybody think Lawrenceville, you gonna get a half a million dollars. Nah. <laughs> See, we was puppies in the game. We ain't know no better. We just, we was sold on the end, the end of the money, like what, what we was told we was going to make. But once you go back and really, like, study the game and look at it, we wouldn't have made that. We probably would have been in the red. Like, we probably would have been 
down bad. So. Yeah, I mean, you know, so that, was that, like, that, that's, that was that was one. Like, yeah. so, uh, <laughs> what would you say? That was one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I that mean, was it, it was it, a lot of a lot of trial and error. Yeah, I mean, it basically comes down to this: um, the broker mm. that, that 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 us meeting Terry as our broker was huge because we sent Terry thousands of houses. You know what I mean? And he'll shoot them down. No, nah, it's not a good deal. It's not gonna work for you. You know, it's not going to work. And, and mind you, we didn't have no deals under our belt at the time right. when we met Terry. So he was taking on a new group, and he made sure that we got not only the funding, the, he made sure we got the funding. He made sure that at the end, we were going to all make out and be able to pay any payback that we need to pay back. You know, so um, th that, that helped us out tremendously. Um, and, and still profit. And, and, st and still profit. And, you know, yeah, and, and still reason. profit, yeah. And I mean, we, like, like Darv said, we walked away with the biggest check. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, so so, that, so that, that, was, that was the big thing, you know, um, with we'll us. Tell me how much that check was. Nah, we <laughs> need to uh, that guy. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you how much that check was. Cut, cut, right. <laughs> Just know it was. It was nice. Most people, a lot of people don't even make any. Yeah. 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 All right, so y'all keep talking about how you linked up with Eve Funder. Um, I, I'll tell you the truth. I was on, I was on Facebook and this. Facebook, y'all heard that? I just, I just, I just, I was looking for a new broker. Like I'm telling you, the last deal we was in. Somebody would have been in jail. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, the deal was terrible. I'm like, someone. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like it, it was just bad. Like, so I was just looking. Yeah, you know I mean, I was like, I'm just reaching out. Like, so, you know I mean? social media, basically. Yes, definitely social media okay. linked us with Terry. And I'm telling you, man, he's been even like, he's not even a broker to us no more. No, nah, he's definitely like, big bro. Yeah, definitely like, big bro. It comes more than with just money, like, at this point. Like, mm -mm -mm. So. so why don't you talk us through that process then? You found us, e funder on social media. You contacted Terrence, yeah. and then walk us through that process, basically. Um, we start we start sending Terry cribs, and I'm telling you, he raw. He gonna say nope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you gotta take it as a grain of salt. Like you can't be in this business and have like feelings. Like if somebody tell you no, it's for a good reason. You gotta listen to him. So you knew he had your best interest. Oh, yeah, for sure, for when sure. When we first met him, he said, eventually, you ain't going to need me no more. Yeah. So, I mean, once you say that to somebody, like, yeah. if you as a person, you got to think, like, if somebody say, you're eventually not going to need me no more, they're not trying to milk the cow until it's dry. Mm -hmm. They're trying to teach you something to send you on your way to where you're not going to need me no more. Right. Okay. See, for me, it was, it was a little different, because, um, see, Darv was the one who met Terry. Darv was the one who was having the conversations with Terry. But I'm on the other end, like, hold on, like, like who's on, Terry? Right? You know what I'm saying? Who's Terry? So when we, when we, but once we sat down and, and, and met with him, um, it was one day after work. Uh, oh, got off, yeah, yeah, got off work. Oh, yeah, the first <laughs> got off work at four o'clock. Share the story. Share yeah, got, got off work at four o'clock, man, and and. Man, I didn't get home till about eight thirty, nine oh, yeah. o'clock. We didn't leave out there until yeah. seven forty-five. Yeah, <laughs> and I mean, but but it was like it was a great, it was a great meeting. It was like, you know, being being around, you know, the the type of people we be, be around with uh, on a daily basis. When you see somebody who's giving you like genuine information for free, mm -hmm. um, it's like you. I knew that Terry had our, our best interest mm -hmm. from that from that meeting on because he was giving us gems and jewels. You know, like about a dozen. You know what I mean. So, when, when, once we got out of that meeting, I told Darby, I said, "Man, we about to make a lot of money." You know what I'm saying? We are gonna make a lot of money with Terry. You know, and um, I mean, the rest is history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah. it's starting yeah, sure. to manifest. Right. Six doors later. Yeah. <laughs> Six doors later. Right, right. Later. So, if you have to give some advice to people out there. Hold on, well, no, let's go to the second deal. That was terrible. Oh, okay. Get into it then. Yeah, let's go to, uh, we can't forget about Linwood. Let's talk, let's touch base on Linwood mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, Linwood was the first deal that we closed on. So, um, Terry got us set up. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, like, until we got into our second and third deal, I didn't know how spoiled we was with a certain lender. But we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll touch on that a little later on down. We'll break down different types of lendings, like, because that's Terry's thing that's e funder um we were spoiled with a certain type of lending so we got we got into the deal everything like the worst part of real estate and then investing i'll tell y'all now 
contractors. <laughs> contractors. Mm. All across Pittsburgh. Y'all need to tighten up. <laughs> tighten it up. Tighten up. <laughs> y'all ain't, y ain't in. Right. Like, it's a, it's yeah. a lot of, ooh. Not a what? Like, Dreams and wishes. I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, it comes down to this. Um, and, I, and I know this is the big thing with, with all investors, you know, that's going on right now. Um, finding contractors that's going to come and do what they say they're going to do and get out. Um, because we all know, you know, depending on, you know, what type of funding you're getting, um, at the end of the day, it's still your money that you're wasting if the, if the job isn't getting done in a, in a you know, a adequate amount of time. Like, you know, so... Um, uh, we were told that Linwood was going to be a 45-day job. Now, um, anybody who's running jobs, man, when, when people tell you a, a certain amount of days, uh, please, please, please do everything you can to keep them, you know, accountable to that time. Uh, Contracts. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Like because, because we were supposed to be out of there in 45 days, and it took us about six months. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, we, we, we got blessed that we, we, we found someone, uh, we found Mike Davis, who uh, made sure that he stayed throughout the whole process, um, you yeah, know. Shout out to Mike Davis. Yeah, definitely, uh, he definitely Safe worked, things. you know what I mean? And, and I mean, he, he did it by himself, you know what I mean? He, he was doing it by himself. I mean, from the bathroom, he was supposed to only do the bathroom, he, he came down the steps, supposed to only do the steps, then he ended up in the kitchen, in the land floor and everything, you know what I mean? Um, so, but, you know, uh, the contract, like like Darv said, the contractors is the biggest thing uh, because they're the ones who going to get the job done, and they're the ones who's going to get you know you keep your draw schedule in line, and they're they're the ones who's going to uh, eventually make sure that you be able to refi and, and and come away with some cash. You know what I mean? Because um, that's the that's the end that's that's the end result that we all want. Come away with some cash. Um, so yeah, uh, we, we 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 went through a, a tough time with the contracting. Uh, at at uh, Linwood, definitely taught us a lot. Definitely taught us a lot. Uh, a lot. So I mean, like now, I mean, I mean we pay for school. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We pay for school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely uh, pay for the education. Yeah. Um, so I mean, now, I mean, now we, we've been blessed with uh, you know, Pettis Enterprise. You know, <laughs> Pettis, Pettis Enterprise. They, 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 they definitely, um, they definitely uh, came through. You know what I mean? They're, they're, Shout they, out to Pettis Enterprise. Yeah, man. yeah. Oh Def my God. Pettis Enterprise definitely came through and uh, they they doing their thing down there at our, at our other project. Though. They definitely are. That's yeah. what's up. That's what's up. So. And one thing, what people gotta know, did these contractors, the lenders ain't trying to hear that. They don't care about what's going on with these contractors. <laughs> when these lenders want their payment, they're not asking you. They're not sending you no bill in the mail. They ain't sending you no notices. <laughs> They ain't sending they you none of that. Money, right. I'm talking about I seen lenders take money out of the account on Sunday when I didn't even think it was possible. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't even think it was like business. I didn't think banks. So when banks say they're not doing no transactions on Sundays and Saturdays, <laughs> they're lying. Not doing <laughs> yeah, right, like right, when, right. when money moves on Sundays, <laughs> I've seen it. Right, so right. That, that's, that's one thing, like, the contractors, y'all got to understand, like, people who's investing, they got goals to hit. They got deadlines to hit. And like I said, man, when they come to these lendings and they're taking their money. They're not asking you if the money in there. They're not asking you with none of that. And that's the probably the last thing you'll want to happen is the lender to come take their money and it's not there because they're the Most lender. Definitely. So. Most definitely. So overall, <clears throat> that definitely slowed up the process then, but once you was able to kind of get things you know, yeah. situated. Yeah. All right, so just, you know, tell us, you know, share some more of, of just the story and you know, the success now that you guys kind of, like you said, you was educated, so now you got that knowledge base. Yeah. And, um, um, I mean, like, like for, for me, because I, I, I'd be the one who usually deal with the uh, contractors, like, face-to-face. -face. Um, so for me, it was like, uh, it, was, it was teaching me, like, how to manage, you know, contractors, you know what I mean? Um, because that, we came into this, you know, trying to be nice guys, you know what I mean? We don't want to micromanage and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And $7,000 later, Dying you know what I mean? You're like, oh, oh, like, you know what I mean? So, I mean, it, it just it just teach you how to deal with the contractors without being, you know, a jerk about it. But it's like, I mean, now, now I mean, our relationship with, with Pettis Enterprise, I mean, like, we, we, we're, we're relaxed with them right now because it's like they're, they actually showed, they're showing us, you know, the old school way. Because they're, they're old school 
guys. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so, so they're showing us the old school way of things, how things is working. Um, you know, and, and I mean, the, the job's running smooth. I mean, we're actually a few weeks ahead of schedule on this Wonderful. one. Yeah. Y'all hear that? So it started mm -hmm. off kind of all over the place. Yeah, it's, and now they got If you're looking to me. invest, it's going to take time for you to hit, like, cruise control. Like, I'm telling you, the biggest hurdle is going to be finding reliable contractors. Let me chime building your team. Yeah, mm -hmm. let me chime in on that real quick mm -hmm. because uh, I flipped a lot of homes over the years, and uh, so I was fortunate enough to go through a program called Fortune Builders, right? Okay. Fortune, yeah. and uh, through their mastery program, and I actually became a mastery coach. Yeah. You know, teaching people all over the country how to get their businesses up and running. And the one thing that they instilled in us, and don't get me wrong, there's great contractors out there, you know. But I also know contractors are good until they're not, you know. So it's like once you, um, you, you have to set things up in the very beginning when dealing with a contract. I mean, I knew you, you all know this, but whoever's mm -hmm. listening, yeah, you know, sure. maybe you're about to start a project or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, just a, a few words of wisdom. Because, and like I say, I mean, the contractors, when I say they're good until they're not, see, there's a lot of times... It's simply miscommunication, right? Because things aren't spelled out in the beginning. And one of the things I've always learned, ahead on work and behind on money, okay? Um, hmm. I know every contractor won't work with me because I don't necessarily believe in giving money up front. You know what I mean? Um, my whole thing is, you know, and I probably got all kind of contractors like, ah. Mm -hmm. But my whole thing is I'm going to have you demo my property. Why do I need to give you a check? You know what I mean? I understand these companies have payrolls and things like that, but yeah. it's not my job to pay your, you know, your people. Mm -hmm. That's just my belief, yeah. okay? So in the beginning, I always like to set up milestones, okay? Mm -hmm. You demo my property, okay, you get a check. After the demo, you frame, you start framing up, you get a check. Mm -hmm. You know, now there are certain contractors that you will pay up, like maybe your roofer or something like that, because they got to get material thing. Yeah. But I really think half of the battle when you when you want to find that contractor, get everything lined up up front. This way, if they don't do what they're supposed to do, they breach the contract. You can pluck them out and put a new one in. Mm -hmm. So, I just mm -hmm. to touch on that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. basically, just already have that process already set up. Yeah, yeah, for, exactly. For so, exactly. He's, Terry, Terry, mm -hmm. he told us this at the beginning, too. He's basically saying, though, like, their contractor should be paying the people and he should be paying the contractor if the work is being done. Mm -hmm. It's not his, it's not, he told, he definitely told me this. He said, he's basically saying it's not his job to pay your employees. Like, his job is to pay you once the work is when it's once you see progress in the work that is a great way to go about it because i'm telling you it, it is a this is a this is a dirty business for real like we don't say I, I we don't seen it all so, what six seven months i mean I, yeah. we probably haven't seen it all but we've seen a lot we've seen like you yeah. know we've seen, I, we yeah, seen, yeah i ain't gonna say we've seen it all yeah, we've seen a lot yeah, we definitely we've definitely seen a lot man um seen a lot. And, and 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 like those those type of conversations that terry just spit out in those that two three minutes just imagine that for two hours, like you know what I mean. The, the amount of information that he's given, though, you know what I mean. So, so that that's another thing that made me like put my guard down with, with dealing with you, Terry, because it was like, you, you, I mean, come on, man, like like that, that that's not in your realm, like you know what I mean. You don't have to do that, like you know what I mean. But you know, uh, once once you start doing stuff like that, you know, the relationship, you know, will grow stronger, it's, you know, real real fast. You know what I mean. Um, and that's why, you know, I tried to send, you know, the, the 50 to 60 people to right, you, you know right, what I mean? Right. Um, but, you know, mm -hmm. not, now, now everybody was going to actually get to see, you know what I mean, exactly right. what we're talking about. Right. And yeah. I appreciate that, too, because, like, he, you know, we hear the funder, um, you know, I, I don't want somebody to just be a number, you know what I mean? I can make money all type of ways, you know, mm -hmm. but I want it to be a win-win. For everybody, you know, like you said, if I see somebody getting into a bad deal, well, first of all, if it's a bad deal, we're gonna be able to fund it anyway, right? Mm -hmm. But you know, it needs to be, you know, something that needs to be profitable for everybody, especially exactly. you as the investor. Mm -hmm. You know, you're making these moves. I got people that's actually leaving their nine to five jobs, to, you know, to pursue this type of thing, mm -hmm. you know, full time. Um, you know, you you want to make sure 
that you're in the right deal. Mm -hmm. You know, so. So let me ask you that now that you're touching. What made you be so open with them? Is it kind of you see, you know, a, a young, you know, like see you <laughs> and them, you know, right, like when you was right. kind of starting off in the game, but yeah. like, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's that, you know, and, and, and my thing is I really don't want to see anybody get into a bad mm -hmm. deal, you know. Mm -hmm. um, the whole purpose of eFunder, uh, understand, I want this company to grow. You know, we're a nationwide company. We don't just live here in Pittsburgh. We're all over, you know. And you just don't and, do real estate. Right, and we don't just do yeah, real you estate. Gotta you got to emphasize on that. Here, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you don't come in here and talk right. about you want to start selling scrunchies. Right, right. You right. ain't doing that. We're talking about real businesses. Yeah. They will get you money for it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They can get you a loan. Mm -hmm. Hey, your business plan. Hey, your credit score. Your LLC. Mm -hmm. Don't come in here. Have, like, <laughs> send me the deal first. I'll take that out. What you say? Yeah. 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 And then I'll send it over. Yeah. All right. Well, let's Wait. touch on that because I was mm -hmm. going to get into the loans. I wanted to kind of cover yeah. the real estate yeah. side first. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I heard that you guys just got your first uh, business loan, um, business credit. Mm. You share that, that process um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it was a sticky process it's done um yeah sticky um, process yeah i don't like yeah that's a dar 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 has a problem with people making money yeah, off of his money i pay attention to everything like yeah. you ain't getting no numbers past me yeah. like i'm yeah. telling you i, I i'm a I'm, bad, right? I, yeah i'm a penny pincher uh, like yeah. i'm nah like i hate it like so that, that's the biggest thing about this industry too like a lot of people gonna make money off you and you're gonna be like yo you didn't even do nothing like, <laughs> and that and, it, and it, it kills me like you say i did all the work i you man something? listen yeah. like, but at the end of the day it, it came out it's like i mean the, the number that he told me the first time i was blown away with you know what i mean because like i told darv i mean i was never I, I never had nobody say they're gonna give me x amount of dollars to go make some money Nobody never did it. Every 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 time I made a, a couple of dollars, I had to go get it out the mud. And let's so. and let's clarify: we didn't get no PPP loan. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like, we, didn't, we didn't do that. Like, that's no, that no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like we don't know. We didn't do Not, that. Nothing, nothing from the government. No. Right? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, right. no. All right, yeah, we do not here. like that. Um, honestly, like we, like we got into a situation because we started doing too many deals at once. So that's why we needed the line of credit. Um, Business is flourishing, so we was able to get the line of credit. So don't think that you just come gonna come in, ask for a hundred thousand, and they just gonna give it to you with no. You gotta show like where this money's going and stuff like that. So um, that's why we needed to do it. Like don't think we out here screwed up, we messed up in the deal or something. No, we got too many deals going on at once. Um, so we needed a couple dollars. Um, the transition was smooth, I'm not gonna lie, but like Gene said, like I'm weird about people making money off me and not doing nothing. Like I pay attention to every number, every dollar, nothing gets past me. So I mean other than that, the transition was good. That's one thing too, like people gotta understand when they start investing, like you're gonna talk to some people and you're gonna be like, Well, you want that much and you ain't even do nothing. <laughs> And I mean, like later on down the line, we're gonna talk about wholesalers too, because I think we we, yeah, we need to talk about that. We need because y'all are going way too but, much out here. <laughs> but but, but, I, but at the end of the day, it came down to this though, like because because me and Dar, we never even thought about business credit. Like we never thought about that because it was something that we never knew about. You know what I mean? Um, Terry seen the flow that was going on. Like he seen that he was like um. So are y'all gonna be all right to uh, close on this, this on, on this one too? Like, and, and you know, like like with me, I'm like I'm like man, we'll go find it. Like, but 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 Terry's like like he's talking to Darv, you know, and he's telling him like, yo, um, I think you need to call this 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 person here. You know what I mean? He, he lined it up, you know what I mean? Yeah, Basically, yeah. and and uh, once once Darv put the application, and I don't know if he big homie for us or what, but they they, they sent a number at us that we was like, whoa. Yeah. We don't Whoa. need that much. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't even want yeah, that much. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, it was, a, like him. it was a crazy number. I was like, whoa, hold on now. Like, yeah. I'm, I mean, still, I'm still, like, I'm blue collar. Like, yeah. I don't even think I want that amount in my bank. Yeah. Like, right, right, I right. still might do something dumb. Like, yeah. like, yeah. like I'm still not Tartel that. Cartel money. Yeah, I'm yeah. not. <laughs> I'm still not that mature yet. Like, yeah, like, I, like, I still might go into Macy's and that. Like, I, I 
I just don't need that much in my account. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was like it was like uh you know it was something that blew us back when he when he came back with the number because when he called me he's like bro listen <laughs> he's like yo. Talk they, about that. Talk about that. Share that comment. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how I felt. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like when when he, when when he told me the number, like I said, I never had nobody give me no money to go make no money. I never had that. Like you know what I mean? Like like so when 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 Dar when when Dar told me the number, I'm I'm instantly thinking like, hold up, what what we can do with this money? Because I just had a conversation with Terry two days before about a fourteen unit. <laughs> Avalon, like, I'm like, hold on, we might can go get that, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but at the same time, it was like, are we ready to deal with that type of money? But it comes back to Terry, though. You know what I mean? Um, he seen he he seen something in us that you know what I mean. He seen that we wasn't playing around, so he lined us up with the money, and we were able to make sure that all the deals was done. You know, now one of our projects that we're actually using some of that money for. Mm -hmm. We're, we're, we're ahead of the draws now, like you know what I mean. So we're we're way ahead of the draws, like you know what I mean. Um, Killing it, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, I think this is some 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 of the terms that we use, and we might have to break down. Yeah, yeah. Cause we're talking, we're talking about killing the draws and stuff. Yeah, we're talking about draws and stuff. That's yeah. like. Yeah. Like, what's, what's draws? What's like? draws? <laughs> yeah, that's stuff that y'all like. But but not but not um, the the draw the draws are the, the amount of money that they send in back into your bank account after you performed. The, the line of work that you said you was going to perform, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? They come, they send an inspe inspector out, and uh, they come check out, making sure everything that that's, that you said was going to be done is done, and they release the funds of the amount that you had on your draw schedule, which is the schedule that's that's like your plan, your map, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And um, come from your scope of work. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, like, like, it's, it's, it's I mean, to, to a lot of people that's listening and stuff like that, they're going, they're going to know exactly what we're talking about. But for the, for the people who don't, um, I, I, I advise you to contact Terry, <laughs> contact Terry. He'll walk you through all of this um, as, as he did us. You know what I mean? Um, like, because when we when we first started, man, I, I mean, we didn't even make our first scope of work, our first draw. <laughs> we didn't even do ours. Like we had a contractor do it. You know what I mean? Like, and, and they short as like ten thousand. We needed like forty, but they, well, we they only said thirty because that's what they they felt we needed. But they didn't know that we was gonna go in and put in a whole new HVAC system, and yeah. you know, they made it. So, so it was like now, windows. yeah, yeah, windows and all that. So, Ooh. so now we know, we we like when we go into a deal, we make sure that we got all the money that we need. Like, just to touch on that too, like, um, see what a lot of people don't know. Uh, in this business, like whether you start in a business or you're already in business, whether it's real estate or what'd you say it was the scrunchies? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 they, they want to sell, like, right, 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 right. they want to sell but, whatever. But, but, here, but here's something yeah, like, extremely <laughs> important. A lot of people don't know and understand about business credit. You know, people, you know, your 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 credit score might be jacked up, right? Um, you know, and if it is, definitely work on getting that better, and we can help we you with that too. that too. Yeah, we got some for that too. <laughs> E-Funder is a one-stop shop. It's a one-stop <laughs> one shop. shop. But business credit is so important, you know. And if anybody wants to learn how to build business pre um, credit, there's a process. There's a cost, but there's a process, <laughs> and it's worth it. You know what I mean? Because when you establish that business credit, if you need fifty thousand dollars a hundred thousand dollars a million dollars or whatever you know what I mean it takes time to build up to that but there's money there people just don't always realize where the money is mm -hmm. and that's what he funded do we find you the money yeah and we'll definitely touch more on that with the business yeah. loans and business credit but um all right so as I was saying before if you had to give some advice to um, some newbies, you know, how you said y'all was puppies in the game. What was some um, advice for you? Gene, we'll start with you. Uh, I would say, first and foremost, find a broker. Find a broker that's, that, that you can trust um, because the broker um, can get you into a good deal or he can get you into a bad deal. Um, and we've seen both sides of it. Um, we, we, we had a broker tell us, you know, uh, house uh, appraises that, Four hundred seventy-five thousand. Um, you know, we was almost two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in debt. Hmm. You know what I mean? Um, based oh. off of the broker's uh, 
you know, the broker's forecast, you know what I, I mean? I, I, think, I, think he, I think the broker was, he had, he seen us and seen a lick. Like I think, I, like I ain't gonna lie. Like, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like so. So the brokers are mo to me the brokers yeah. the most important person. You know what I mean? Um, especially when you got a broker who's who's you know connected. You know what I mean? Um, connected to uh, different contractors. You know, different funding. You know what I mean? Because every every funder isn't going to be the right funder for you. Right. You know what I mean? We we got blessed with a funder on a one where we had to just take pictures and send it to them and the cash was in our, you know, account the next day. You know, now we, in the, we, we, in the, well, we got to send, not only uh, we got to send pictures, we got to send invoices. We, yeah, we got we to send, you know what I mean, uh, a whole paper trail and then they send somebody out to make sure that the pictures match, you know what I mean? So you could have sent the pictures of, of a whole nother project, you know what I mean? But, but now, we're, but we're, we're equipped now based off of our broker um, making sure that we was good um, in, in those areas. So now we, we were able to deal with the, the loose lending and the tight lending, you know what I mean? So, so we're, we feel confident right either way. Right. Yeah, we feel confident either way. So you say brokers, it's like, like first yeah, order? Yeah, man, yeah. Um, I would have to agree with that. And another thing I would have to agree about is, um, no, other thing I would have to say is, make sure your business is right. Like, don't like, like study the game. Like, don't jump into it. Like, sit back and just study the game. HGTV ain't it. This ain't HGTV. Yeah, this ain't, yeah. this is not it. Like, mm -hmm. a crib is not going to flip in 30 minutes. Like, this ain't, like, this ain't it. Mm -hmm. So I say study the game. Um, pay attention to our podcast, our eFunder Radio. Um, we're going to give it, we're going to be giving out a lot of helpful tips. Um, we're going to have Terry break down different loans, different exit strategies, uh, different business loans. We're going to touch on all that. Everything that eFunder uh has to offer, um, but make sure the business is right. Like, take a step back and just really, just get your business right. Cause mm -hmm. it's like, and build relationships. Mm -hmm. Because this is all based off of relationships. Like, yeah. there's there's a couple people that I lean on for information outside of Terry and Jane. Like, it's just relationships. Like, so um, I would say definitely get you a solid broker, build relationships, and get your business right. Then it's the contractors. I mean. Contractors is up there with getting the relationship. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. they are for like mm -hmm. they are a heavy, 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 heavy load. They're a big mm -hmm. piece. Yeah. They're a huge piece. Yeah, mm -hmm. out, of, out of process. Yeah. Huge piece. I mean, it, 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 we went from we went from going into a property where we didn't know when the contractor was going to be there to going into our property. You know, and contractors are always there. You know what I mean? Um, they got they had a day shift and night shift. You know what I mean? Um, so crazy. So um, so yeah. So I mean, like like for me, you know, because like I'm 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 on a I'm not on the same side as Darv. Like Darv, he deals with the business part of things. But for me, it's like uh, it it was the broker and the contractors. You know what I mean? Once those two, once you have those two lined up. You know what I mean? I think that, you know, any deal was able to be done. You know what I mean? Um, and make sure your broker want to get you some money. Like, don't <laughs> let them think, like, like, yeah. Yeah, because that's part of it. Yeah. You can get a profit, too. Yeah, exactly. Don't let, win, win. Yeah, yeah. don't let a broker just tell you, like, are you going to make a certain amount of money? Do your research. Know your business. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you will be, your first deal could be your last. Y'all hear that? That, that quick, right? That, that quick first deal, I'm going to y'all out. So what is next with Real Realty? Ooh. Where do you guys see yourself going next? Seven months, what, seven, six months? About seven months. Y'all already seven, seven killing months. it. So what, yeah. a year from now, like, what's next? And um, another thing I want to say <laughs> about that seven months. It took us about, what, a year and a half before we closed on the first deal? Yeah, about a year, yeah. yeah. Just because we sat back and was patient and looked at it and studied the game a little bit. So I think the game really studied us. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, yeah, I mean, um, but to answer your question, though, um, you said we, we see itself in a year. Um, I don't know. I mean, that, that, that's, that's, the, that's the thing about us, though. Um, and I, I, know, I know some heavy hitters out there. Um, that that's that operate like they don't have a 
they, they, they don't have a lane. You know what I mean? They, 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 they go where the deal is at. Um, so with us, with us, we, we, we really ain't trying to, you know, you know, be pinholed into anything. Uh, I, I, I think that, <laughs> I, I think that we could be seven more doors ahead. Um, a couple flips. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, who knows? We may, we may, we may have, you know, office space. Who knows? I mean, we, 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 we don't, we don't, um, we don't want to just say we're, we're going to be going one way. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I think what made us so successful now in this short amount of time is that we really didn't let the, we didn't let our, you know, like a plan force us to businesses, you know what I mean? Into, inter, um, into exchanges. We, we basically like, just like, you know, wherever the wind was blowing us, we were just going, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I mean, I, def that's definitely what happened with the, the triplex, you know, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, we, we, were, we were single family homes, mm -hmm. you know, um, next you know, triplex come up, you know yeah, what I mean? But Terry had that conversation with us. That's another thing about him. He's like, yo, I see y'all doing bigger things, like, hmm. let's get Time away from, up. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, let's get away from these single family homes a little bit. Like, nothing wrong with single family homes is that's what you do, mm -hmm. cool. But, yeah, you know I mean, it's just more money and uh, to multi-families and stuff like that, so. Yeah, so what I, what I think, I feel like we just gonna grow. We just gonna continue to grow, mm -hmm. continue to flourish, mm -hmm. do what we know what to do, stay in our lane, mind our business, and. Keep making it. money, keep making money. Yeah. 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 Right, no right. limit. But we ain't gotta keep talking about money. No, <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm that broke, baby. <laughs> 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 and um, before I let you guys go, just, you know, you speak so much on how tennis was such a big, oh, you know, yeah. help and mentor oh, almost sure. to you guys. So how um, he, you know, or crucial would you say it is to have him on board now with the 300? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, like, like I, I look, at, I look at Terry, like, like, no, no joke. I look at him like the Godfather, man. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I look at him. I look at him like. I know it was a dress code. Yeah. <laughs> but now I look at him like the Godfather, though. You know, um, he, you, you go to him, you know, and you sit down with him for a few hours, and when you leave out, you're way better off. Like, you know what I mean? He's definitely. Um, he's more than the glue, you know what I mean. He's more, he's more than that, um, you know. And um, I mean, I, mean I, I like the fact that you know we we can text Terry at eleven thirty at night, and we, we hit him with a you woke, <laughs> and now we uh, we gonna you know what I'm saying we on a, a three way call like you know what I mean. So he, he's always available for us, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, I mean like our, his connections is our connections, you know what I mean. Um, and then the thing about it is we didn't know Terry before this. You know what I mean? Like so, so it's it's like, and I'm sure I, I know for a fact he does it to to other people because I, I uh, tagged him on Facebook and somebody said, yeah, we did three million dollars this year with Terry. Like you know what I mean? So it's not just us. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's whoever is is in his is uh under his tree. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, you share your resources. Like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You ain't holding yeah. back no no secrets, no nothing. Like. Mm -hmm. Any questions going to ask you, if you don't know it, you going to find out and like let us know. Like I'm talking about from, like I said, eFunder e -funder is one stop shop. Insurance, home insurance. Mm -hmm. Shout out to yeah, Tayon. Shout out to Tayon. Shout out to Tayon Mitchell, even though you went to Shinley. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. Yeah. But yeah, shout out to Tayon, man. We went to middle school together. Um, shout out to the, the what's the, uh, what's the guy down the street? Which one? Um, the guy to do our taxes. What's his name? Oh, oh, Will. Yeah, shout yeah. out to Will. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Will Winters, like yeah. uh, an accountant, like just like just meet so many. Like I, it all come back to relationships. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then and, and see the, the the whole thing is we, we're trying to do these a little different, you know, like like we're we're not on, we're not on, you know what I mean? But we we want we want to see other people who who especially the people who's just starting out right. that like we we want to see them get on like you know we want we want everybody to eat you know what i mean yeah. um and then that's something different that's not, that's really not you know the the Pittsburgh way of things but but that's 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 going to be our way of things like you know what i mean we're going we're going to share resources with everybody yeah, like you know what I mean? out here for yeah everybody, yeah definitely everybody definitely and like i said terry i said before terry just don't do real estate like mm -hmm. he do everything 
Like he can get if the if the, if the situation's right, he gonna find you some money. Like so. Sometimes it might be ugly money, but if you need it, <laughs> yeah, you get it, we're gonna find yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Definitely. definitely. And have your ducks in line. Don't think you just gonna come in here and ask for a crazy amount of money and he's just gonna pull it out the sky for you if you wanna open up a anything like if you gotta to have your business but have your business right. Like mm-hmm. But you so. say that business plan on yeah, your ducks Yeah, and all that. Like mm-hmm. and I like and that's one thing I learned about uh when I first called Catherine. Mm. She put me on the clock on the phone. Yeah. She's like, uh, my time ain't, this ain't that. Like, I'm gonna invoice you as soon as we get off the phone. I'm like, dang, like, just for talking. Like, that's why I tell y'all, man, like, Great no, advice. No, nothing is free and like, no, this ain't free like, mm-hmm. at all. Like, so people don't be wanting to pay you. Oh, the prices is too high. You don't want it then. Like, mm-hmm. You say you ain't ready. You ain't ready. Give what you pay for. Yeah, I mean, you're right. Because she sent me that invoice, and guess what? I had my five thousand dollars back the next week. Mm-hmm. She got knocked on them doors like she broke down the contract. She said, "This ain't right. This ain't right." She, yeah, I got my money back. So mm-hmm. it's different, man. It's Good different. Stuff. Hey, I, I, I want to ask a question because mm-hmm. um, because you brought this up earlier, and only because I started in the business. You know, um, you know, wholesaling real estate, uh, right? And so, here we go. Here and we I look, like, hey, but, but, <laughs> hey, let me. I'm wholesaler, I don't have no beef with y'all. Yeah. Continue on sending me houses to my email. Oh, I, I, I just, some of y'all be a little crazy with y'all prices. <laughs> But it's a great way to pull money out of thin air. You know what I mean? It is. So it's like, you know, if somebody doesn't have the resources to be able to, um, you know, the credit or whatever to get a loan to flip a property, be able to wholesale it. Once you acquire that property, get 300 a call. Send that property over to them. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, you know, five ten thousand $10,000 wholesale fee, yeah, 30 40 yeah, yeah. I, I, get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Like, I get it. like y'all tripping with those, man. But see, we gonna have oh, to break that. Oh, they got us, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we gonna, have to, we gonna have to break it down. Yeah. People probably listening and probably don't know what the heck we talking about. Like, yeah. with the wholesalers, they probably don't know what wholesalers are. They probably mm-hmm. don't know what the fees are. Mm-hmm. But we are gonna have to break it down in the future podcast. Definitely. But, yeah. but it's definitely another way for you to make money in real estate if you don't have any money. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of work. If you don't want to put in the work, you ain't gonna be a good wholesaler because it's a lot of work. Mm-hmm. So, but, yeah. you right. can pull money out the thin air, but you gotta, work. you gotta work. So let the people know how they can get in contact with 300 Realty. They want to take advantage of your, your services. Um, you can email me. Don't inbox me. Um, <laughs> you can email me. Um, gray period 300 Realty LLC at gmail.com. Again, don't inbox me because I don't, I don't like inboxes. Um, and you can check out our business page on Facebook, 300 Realty. Um, we got a couple uh, projects that's coming up. People's interested. Um, we got a leasing agent. I guess we could touch on that too, like later on down in the show. Uh, we don't do we don't we don't do that. So uh, like we want to run a legitimate business. So we don't really we don't put people on our homes. We let somebody else do it. Like it's just no discrepancy with us. So that's why we do it. But yeah, that's the way y'all can contact me. Again, my email is gray period 300 realty LLC at gmail.com. You can email me with any questions, whatever. Like, so. Email him. <laughs> what she said, he's the main one. I'm, I'm behind the scenes. Yeah. Yeah. Email, email hey, I want to say this real quick, too, because uh, um, I know we're shooting this on Facebook Live as we're doing this podcast, so if anybody do have any questions for us, you know, we might not be able to answer it on the show. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, when we look at our phones, if we see some questions, we may be able to answer something for you. But, um, you know, we definitely be able to get it, you know, into the next show. Um, one of the things um, I, I want to talk about, and that's our amazing host right here, Shayla, okay? Mm-hmm. She's a huge businesswoman, you know what I mean? She's doing her thing. She, you know, she's out here to help the community, help business owners, help people establish, you know, um, and get the monies that they need to be able to keep them, you know, to keep them moving. So should I also give them your email address on how to contact you? You can reach me at efunder.pro slash Shayla Holmes. Mm-hmm. 
I think you should tell people what you do though. Break mm-hmm. it down, what you do in the community and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's your time. Oh, and that's Shayla turn. Dash Holmes. <laughs> Sorry, Dash, yeah. Dash in there. So, um, first of all, just want to thank you guys for sharing it, your story, your success, your challenges, and just the whole process because this is very valuable information that I think people need to know. I know a lot of people I know are out here doing, you know, what you guys are doing now, and I'm sure they're definitely in a place where they can really use this information. It's like a brain brainstorming session, and I'm constantly getting fed, you know. But um, my main goal right now is to just help as many business owners that we can help. You know, you heard it first from 300, one stop shop here. You know, whether you're looking for the business loan, business credit, you need some type of help with the commercial side, you want to go for a building for your, you know, barber shop, hair salon, whatever. We're here, we're here to help. And I'm always available. So you can inbox me. You know, just, just keep it appropriate. Keep, keep it business. <laughs> but, um, you know, we're definitely always here. Um, and like Terrence mentioned, you know, we are nationwide. But, you know, me, my passion is to help my city, you know, help us out and um, get out of that crab and the barrel mentality. Mm, and um, sure. just like Dora mentioned, really help, you know, share those resources, help each other, you know, because if we help lift each other up, we're definitely all going to, you know, rise to the success that we all are seeking. Mm-hmm. And um, as I'm speaking on that, stay tuned for boss segment. Um, that's business owners seeking success, where we're going to just bring on, more, you know, more local business owners mm-hmm. like 300 Realty. Mm-hmm. Come, come to us, you know, tell your story. Whether you need some help, information, whatever it may be. So, like I said, I'm just, you know, happy to see everybody doing well and. Um, you know, yeah. So, <laughs> turn it cool. back over to Terrence real quick. Yeah, well, you know what? I appreciate everybody coming out here, putting this all together. Mm-hmm. Um, my man behind the camera, Jay. You know, shout if you out like Jay. Him, shout mm-hmm. out to Jay because if you like what you see, um, just holler at us. We get you his information, mm-hmm. photo shoots, video shoots. He do it all. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, you if got you, the drone. Yeah, you got yeah, you got that drone and all that. Yeah, I got to put in the work on that one. You know what I mean? <laughs> Our ceiling's too low in here, but you know, we get it outside and do something, you know. But um, once again, if you want to get in touch with um, eFunder, you just go to eFunderPro.com. If you want to get in touch with Shayla, um, eFunder.pro.com forward slash. I say it right. eFunder.pro. Nah, eFunder.pro forward slash Shayla. Dash. Sla- dash home. All them dashes and slashes. <laughs> right, right, we'll post right, right. it. I need coffee. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We'll post yeah, it yeah. so you guys have the information. Yeah. Um, before we go, definitely shout out all the mommies. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, yeah. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah, definitely Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day weekend. All the ladies. And um, we'll be back. We'll be back with more information. And um, just stay tuned, definitely. We're going to do this like once a month. Just so if y'all got any questions, like you said, put it under the the video or something so we can we can uh, answer those questions for y'all and we're gonna have Lyndon, we're gonna have Lyndon segments, we're gonna have the boss lady and we're gonna have the real estate side. Like we ain't gonna just sit there and talk to you about real estate for an hour. We're gonna touch on everything. Mm-hmm. You wanna know what y'all wanna talk about. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. <laughs> Alright, thanks for tuning in y'all. Thank you. All right. <laughs>